We're good to judge with the peace of the Lord. We ask for those who can stand up so we can read the peace. That's in Matthew 11, 28. Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Amen. Matthew 11, 28. It says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, or lean from me. For I'm gentle and, and lowly in heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, we worship you and ask you for your good spirit that minister angels that can be here throughout throughout the time that we worship your name, that your angels can reach each heart, touch each life that are here tonight, and that the glory of you can fulfill this place we pray in the name of Lord let's be seated please bread in this word that we just read it starts saying come to me all that who are labeled and heavy laden and I'll give you rest this is the whole the word says about the biography, the biography of Jesus and the way Jesus revealed, the way Jesus approached people. The word that the Lord had was always a word of cure, a word of eternal life. And here when Jesus said, come to me, we remember the word of Lord in Ap and Revelations. That has, who has ears, who has ears, listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say. The, the Holy Spirit are every is every day in the church, announcing that Jesus came in the world in the in the form of a man, die as a man, and and resurrected as a man. This is the message of the church. It's a simple message, but. And take the man from the death and take him to the eternity with the Lord. And when we read this verse, we see that this invitation that today you heard the voice of the Holy Spirit call you, invite you, and you came. You came, in the, you came because of the invitation of the Holy Spirit to, to listen to what Jesus has to you, has to say to you. The word has a lot of a lot of have a lot of situations to get you tired to get us oppressed but the Lord is our our relief we create expectations in this life that's natural but the expectations that we create in life brings us more frustration than joy but sometimes we look at people that have a lot of uh, a lot of goods but sometimes we see that everything that they get, everything that they acquire is more, more tires, more sadness. The word says it's better. It's better to have a word. And we are people, a fragile, a small, but we have accepted the call from the, the Lord. This call that is come and listen to what I have to say, and the Lord is saying since the beginning in the sing in the songs, in each song that we sang, there's a message from the Lord to you, a consolation for you. When we sing songs, our souls, our souls easy up. We feel the peace of the Lord because this comes from the eternity and brings us a, a relief. And it says here, come to me, all that you who labor and heavy and laden, and I will give you rest. The rest from the Lord, 
when we receive the relief from the Lord in this world, we receive a great blessing when we have a small wound or like a headache, anything like that in this in this in this life in the earth we we can say that it's a relief for us uh, a medicine that we take something that we put on our skin anything that anything that we put on our body to relieve the pain but but when we have an affliction in our soul there's no there's no medicine there's no doctor there's nothing that can treat our soul but when we accept to come to the house of the Lord and listen to what the Jesus has to say and share with our communion, we can say that we have the doctors of the doctors, the Lord of the Lords, someone that can take care of our afflictions of our souls. And our souls is constant afflict because the world brings us confusion. What we have read and the Bible is against everything that we see out there in the world. The world wants to change the Bible, but the Lord is strong, is powerful, because the doors, the doors of the devil will not prevail with the Lord. Big is with, with what with us. The Lord has all the angels, everything around us, and what He wants from us that you come and listen to His his devices and that he will do everything for us and when we and when we talk about the people of Lord is a small people is fragile simple I remember a word that that is in Proverbs of the rabbit that the rabbits are it's a the rabbits are animal that does his house in the on the rock we have been we have been denied by the world, but the glory that we receive is the glory from the Lord. We have been approved by the Lord because we deposit in the Lord all of our trust. We wait for Him because He is our He has, He is our rock, He is our eternal rock. And us being small and fragile, we are like the we are like the rabbit. The rabbit's a very fragile animal. It's very inoffensive. Doesn't react. Doesn't attack. And the people of Lord, that Lord wants us, it's, it's a people that depend depend on Him, you know, firm in the rock, that can trust Him for all the deliverance. Take my yoke upon you, Lynn, from me, for I'm gentle and lowly in heart, and I will find rest for your souls. Who can say that I'm I'm, I'm easy. We all have our moments, our weakness moments, that sometimes we're the flesh. You know, because of the flesh we get nervous, we get upset, but the Lord does it. The Lord does not lose His, his uh, equilibrium. He is the Word and He's, he's the incarnated Word. He incarnated in the man and gain life. When we remember John, in Revelations, when he says, and and he look at the book, in his and his he was bitter in his mouth. Sometimes, sometimes we sometimes we face difficulties, we face trials. When when we facing the trials inside is bitter, but when we give the testimony of what we live and that the Lord supported that the Lord's helped us we can say that and when we, in our mouth when we give the testimony it's sweet when we say what the Lord did to us when he dominated our our ourselves our lives and we we bound to him because all the glory is given to him we're not we exalted when we humiliate before the Lord, we can say that we learn with we learn from the Lord, and when we learn from the Lord, we learn how to depend on Him. We we'll, we we'll, we we'll learn how to depend on His on His mercy that He's going to help us in our difficult times. How many times we come here with a 
with a hard situation, difficulties, and the brother and the brethren pray for us, and the Lord give us the victory. We're not here. We're not here to believe in ourselves. We are dependent. We're, we're dependent on the Lord. We don't depend on each other. We know that we have this. We have. We have this fellowship. The Lord will support us. Sometimes, one brother and sister will help us and strengthen us in the in the faith. For I'm gentle and lowly in heart, and I will find the rest for your souls. Jesus' life, Jesus Christ's life. When Jesus reveals, when the spiritual gift. When uh, the Lord speaks through a dream, everything takes place. Everything, everything will take place. Everything will fall into place, and everything will happen in a pleased way. There's no weight. There's nothing heavy. Nothing that suffocates you. But what comes from the word, what comes from outside, suffocates you. What's the obligation there? It's a weight in your life but the Lord comes to give us relief and sometimes some people will ask why are you always at the church because we find relief because we find we find uh, we find the relief we find the peace we find the joy we don't we don't get any goods but the truth but the true joy is to be in fellowship with the Lord And I'll find you rest for yourself because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Lord doesn't judge. We judge. We judge each other. Let's wait for the kids. We, we, when we judge each other as a, as a man, we judge each other. We reprove everyone, but when when the Lord judges through the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus gives us hope. The blood of Jesus gives us hope, and that's what George, that's just what Lord wants to give us tonight, to take all the way from us that we can feel light on His hand. To to feel, to feel the light of His hand upon us, to free us from all the things that the Word has given us. Learn from me, from Lord, that are easy and gentle, and we're not, and we're not, and we're not there. To, we're not perfect, and we're seeking to perfect. And when we're seeking for, and when we seek, we're depending. On the Lord because we're listening from the Lord what he has to give us the con the advice those who have children those who have children they know every day you say the same thing to the children to the kids and they do it again do it again we as as our sheep before the Lord sometimes the Lord wants us to change some situation in our life but Sometimes, many times, we can't, and, and sometimes the Lord, give, you know, the Lord gives us a heavy hand and change our behavior as we, as we, as we become mature. He gives us the condition to see differently because my judgment is, because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Lord does not put any weight in our, sh in our shoulders. On the contrary, He wants to take the weight that the Word puts on us so we can have joy in our hearts. The Word, the Word, the Word sadness, the thing that surrounds us brings us more sadness than joy, but the Lord is the one that supports us, that gives us help, that gives us joy, that gives us that makes us the, the makes us the, makes us willing to serve him. The Lord chose us. The Lord loved us first. It's not us that love the joy. The the Lord. 
we only love him because he chose us and when he loves us we feel we feel shame with his love I remember when the Peter passage when Peter the Peter the fisherman he was trying to fish and he wouldn't get anything the fisherman and the Lord came and told him to send him send him the net send him send the net throw the net on the right hand the rice talks about the revelation and as this month we're we're praying for the professional life of all of us because the blessing that's coming to the bread and Lord it's reaching all the all the people around and all the co-workers and the glory is the glory is to the Lord the glory the glory but Peter when he listened to the please Lord I recognize that I'm a sinner don't come closer but the Lord the Lord intimidated Peter so much that says I want to I want you to become a man fishes he wants you to fish your souls, man, and not, not fishes. The Lord doesn't want us to come to the church and come here just to watch a, a service. The Lord wants to use each one of us for what we pray to our neighbor, to our co-worker, so we can do what we do, so we can speak about the salvation. He fills up with joy because the salvation, the benefit of the salvation for those who are for those who treat are treated we are we talk about what work for the Lord is pray for those that need is to assist is to assist those that need the word of Lord and the word is not ours Isaiah's when he recognized the sin his sin the Lord touched his lips and his sins were purified he remember he remember who he were he said he was a man with uh, with uh, dirty lips, and he recognized his sins. He, he recognized that he lived he lived in the world, and this is coming today. If we look in ourselves today, in our condition, we don't have the capability to serve the Lord. But the Lord gives us the capability to serve Him. He gives us all the blessing to speak about Him, and when the Lord does that, He. Uh, and uh, it touches the lips of Isaiah, Isaiah, and Isaiah says, "Send me." We are here not because we have, we don't have something to transmit. If there's, if there's a failure, it's because of ours. If it's a credit, it's the, we give it to the Lord. We're here to produce. If we're here to, uh, we have were subject to failures. If we fail, it's because of um, of ourselves. And the word of Lord is just a blessing. And the Lord wants to use wants to use each one of us that are here tonight. The children, the instrument people, the cor- the choir. He wants to use them in different moments, in different situations, so we can have a. So we can have a word that can take the weight from the shoulders of those that are suffocated, and then and the and and the relief comes. And all the work that we do for the Lord is not in vain. And then this morning, in the early dawn, the word that was and then the brother was praying for. Praying for a motive, for a motive that he wanted for his life, but he, speaking with the Lord Himself, he said, "Lord, I think the praying that we're doing, the praying that I'm doing, is in vain." And the Lord tortured another friend, and the friend told him that the Lord said, "To not, to not surrender, not to give up. It, your prayers are not in vain. What you've done for your family, the Lord will reach." You. Some time later, the Lord reached this family. Lord, early dawn, fast. 
rationally is people think it doesn't give any results for those who have lived the experience has uh, have seen the doors of heaven open have seen the angels come down and go up taking our taking our reflection bringing the miracles and we've seen miracles happen we've seen we are we are we are fruit of a mercy of the Lord this is experience from a from a brethren but we all have experience with the Lord if we're going to spend time you know speaking about our experience we'll spend all night talking but I understand and I know that everyone that's here have experience have had experience with the Lord and those that do, never had experience the Lord will give him and uh, and the Lord will relieve his pain the, the Lord will relieve your your pain and give you the salvation amen let's listen to song stand up now the Lord showed that there was a there was a lady that came here and she and, and she felt overwhelmed she received uh, a lot of uh, a lot of words situations that br brought a lot of weight on her shoulder but the Lord tonight wants to take all this weight from her shoulder 
Come to me and all your labors and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. The Lord wants to give you relief. If you are in this condition tonight, the, the weight of the word, don't leave here tonight. Don't leave here tonight without a prayer that the brethren will pray for you. We will feel the peace of the Lord, the relief of the Lord. Amen. Let's end our service. Our Father, we, we exalt your name. All the honor and glory is to you, Lord. It's you, Lord, that relieves the weight of this world. We ask you, Lord, to receive this service. And that you bring peace to all of us, Lord. That you can make each one of us be closer to you. Have more communion with you, Lord. Help us separate from this world and wait for your return, Lord. Work in our, among us, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. If anybody would like to have a, a prayer, please just raise your hands. Tomorrow at 10.30 we'll have our Sunday morning Bible church and 7.30 we have our service.